good morning Scorpio this is your reading for January 2021 so I hope that you having a beautiful day it is cold where I'm at but it's uh, it's sunny the sun is out so that's beautiful it's a beautiful day to start a reading so I'm going to use the energy oracle first and then I'm going to use the tarot and clarify with some uh, Roman angels and uh, other cards. Oh, we have deceit. Okay. Ooh. One more card, please. Action. This card of action, it's been coming out a lot for a lot of signs. Okay. And by the way, you are you and Sagittarius are the last um, the last reading that I'm doing. For the month of January, so every, everybody else is out. So if you want to check by the other placement of your chart, you can also do that. Okay, so we have 25, um, which is 7, card of deceit. And action, 8 or 17, and action. Okay, so I feel like you have two different energy. Could be talking about a few, two different things here. Uh, let's see though. So we have this seat here. This seat is there is a guy here. Um, maybe someone that you trust, you know, someone who is a friend. But they're telling me to be careful. They tell I hear like be careful because someone might be um, hiding behind curtains here, and then you don't really know this person, and you trusting someone here that might be a little bit um, not having your highest. Uh, uh, not having your back here uh, also I'm hearing be careful with your money at this time don't try to spend too much okay um, Scorpio uh, keep in mind that this person is um, holding a, a chest here with coins so um, be careful someone might steal money from you or uh, don't spend too much and here with the card of action I see that here there is some action that is um, um that is uh around your energy here like either you you are asked asked to be um moving forward or you are right now um doing a lot of stuff maybe multitasking here a lot of action and this is also about balancing the yin and the yang your energy you might have doing a lot of stuff at the same time might might get you to be a little bit imbalanced in your energy so um keep in mind okay that you have to be um try to be grounded okay because this is action this is for me fire energy here so action is all about um moving and then not taking time for yourself and uh working hard maybe or you know working on something that really um uh, really is important to you. I have the chariot at the bottom of the deck here, and again with this yin and yang, a lot of uh, this energy for me for the month of January. I feel like people are taking a lot of actions. Uh, this is a new year, so people are excited. Um, also, it could be traveling, but be careful at that time, okay? Traveling is not. Um, really um, um you know how can i say that traveling is not um advice at this time with the pandemic going on so we have the seven of pentacles and the justice card so definitely do you planted your seeds here okay i think you're working hard here you you are putting something out there the universe and you're waiting there's a yeah there's this waiting waiting period here yeah see the hermit so you're waiting and you you observing i feel like you're observing um patiently and here with the justice card i see that you are trying to to balance yeah you're trying to fall the the to find the right middle of this thing here okay Let's keep moving. This is the Libra energy and also Virgo energy. What else can we... Okay. 
Knight of Pentacles, yeah. So um, this thing that you are waiting for, it's coming, but it's coming very slowly. And I think that you know that or you you doing it purposely, you're not rushing anything. Okay, it's going very slowly, but I feel that you're okay with that. Although you 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 put in the work, the work, you put in the work and now you're just um, waiting here patiently. You have the four of wands and the nine of wands. So this is about stability here. This is about marriage. Um, growing something like a business, a partnership with other people. Four of wands for me is also a um, uh, soulmate, twin flame. Kind of if you believe in twin flame, soulmate. You have the tower. So tower is something that is, is going to bring you a new, like a sudden change. This is a change in your, in your life, okay? Change in your life. This is kind of like a new beginning because you have the world here. So which, what, which one, which, what Arcana is about after the world is the fool. So this is kind of a new beginning. And it's the end of something here that the end of hard work okay for some of you and that's going to bring you stability and a new beginning here you are waiting see the two of wands i was feeling this energy of waiting you're waiting on something here okay okay so if it's about relationship maybe you i think i see here divorce here for some of you okay if it's not divorce then it's a new contract Take it as it resonates, okay? Here with the justice card, I see that you're signing some, some uh, papers. Um, probably end of commitment here because you have the world and you have the nine of wands. End of commitment and aiming for a fresh new start. So you planted a new seed and you're waiting for it to grow, okay? But you're taking your time too with the nine of pentacles. Although this will happen suddenly for you in your life here i feel like there is a little bit of waiting here let me see you have strength at the bottom so this is leo um yeah you have to be a little bit um you have to find your your strength back i feel like it was a hard journey for you you had to work a lot about something it was stressful too because i had the i have the nine of swords here also on the back okay uh yeah you were multi multitasking here with the seven of cups doing multiple st things at the same times okay and you got out of this really um like tired okay kind of and also, um, you're protecting your energy here a little bit. You're going into this hermit mode, okay? Uh, to get a little bit of rest as well. You're resting at this time after, after a long period of uh, waiting and working hard or ending a relationship here. But with the word card, I see something good coming towards you, okay? The word card is a completion, is full circle of something. You've done your work and now you're waiting for your reward, okay? And I feel that it's coming towards you. We're ending with a good card here. Because you work hard, so there's no way that you cannot have your reward here. Hi, Priestess. Yeah, and what is this? Um... High Priestess tells me that you you know you know that you you know you can feel that something good is coming okay that's what it tells me here all right let's see more deeper into the love wait I use that one first I think nope that one sorry <laughs> I'm a little bit confused because I'm using a lot of decks 
Okay, so you could be dealing with a Libra, a Virgo, um, any fixed sign. Could be Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, or Leo. Okay. Chaser. In pursuit, convincing, rejection, let them go and let it be. Yeah. So this person, if you're holding on to them, I have the Four of Cups. Okay, here. So if you're holding on to them, just uh, let them go. Okay. I'm seeing that there is a completion here. So this is meant to be. I don't think it's it's going to be sudden. It's going to be a shock to you. you you're going to, maybe you will not understand why this person wants to end a relationship. Uh, or why you want to, if this person, or vice versa, if it's for you. But you have to let this person go, okay? I mean, it's up to you, actually, but... Um, yeah, it's up to you, but... Uh, and that's what I see here in the cards. Surrender, detach, trust, free fall, have faith that all will be well. You see? Surrender to the your intuition, to the divine... And all will be will be well. Belief. Similar or clashing belief system can bring you together or keep you apart. Okay, so um, maybe for some of you, what was went wrong is that you were not, you didn't have the same belief. It doesn't have always have to be about religion, okay? For me, it could be also about how you educate your child, your children, uh, how you see life in general, okay? Or you could be, uh, well, yeah, it could be religion, so you could be more spiritual, they could be more um, religious, okay? Uh, let me pull one more. Maybe. Well, appreciate, okay. Your twin appreciates you, see the blessings, practice appreciation, okay? So if you're doing, dealing with twin flame, uh, they're saying that you have to um, be grateful, okay, for the moment. And uh, that your twin uh, is appreciating you around the, in their life, okay? That's what I have here. Let's see about the Romans and Joel's. Yeah, so there is a completion here. For you, new beginning, past life relationship. You have known each other before. There is someone that you share past life with them that is coming into your life. The four of ones here is, is definitely a twin flame here. Or a uh, soulmate for those who don't um, trust, I mean, don't, um, don't um, believe about twin flame. So, oops. You see, this card fell on my arm. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Yeah. You see, don't don't um, don't hold on to this person. Okay, this person who wants to leave, who wants separation, or if you want separation, or even this twin flame, just let it be. Surrender. And it fell under the surrender here. Trust. Free fall, have faith that all will be, okay? One more. So relax and take a, take a deep breath. That's what I hear on, in my mind here, in my head. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Yeah, there we go. So that's what I said. Uh, during There is separation here and... Um, and uh, the the end of the the the, um, the result of that will be the reunion with your twin flame. That's what I feel here. I'm going to pull from Ask Answers. What's the name of uh, Angel Answers? Okay. I'm gonna mix it a little bit. Let's see what advice your angel want to your angels want to tell you.
I just got so those cards, so a little bit hard to shuffle. assertive this is the first um, advice okay yeah you have the key here look at this well no it's a mask sorry <laughs> I thought it was a key <laughs> okay what else whoops So again, I have this mask here. So someone is, some of you guys, you have to be careful about, you know, people being deceitful around you. Opportunity, okay. So this is like, it looks like gold coming from the, you know, the sky here. So you're gonna have some new opportunities. One more, what do you have to say about this new? relationship coming okay. this twin flame I think. okay about the twin flame the same let go okay let go I mean I think it's about it's talking about this person again see Ooh, that one. I have to get at it <laughs> okay the situation will improve wow beautiful card you have some um, dolphins here yeah so it will get better okay I know that you had the stress card I mean I had the nine of uh, nine of swords so you're probably asking yourself did I do the you know did I do the right thing uh, you know you might be a little bit um wondering a little bit sad you know but they're saying the situation will improve okay one last card okay okay you have a prayer dear guardian angel help me to be flexible in my attitudes and beliefs help me not to fear the transient nature of life help me to remember the eternal light which emanates from my soul and the eternal light will, which emanates from the heart of every living thing. Help me to remember that I am eternally guided and loved by God and all creation. There we go. Okay, Scorpio, this is your reading and I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, please um, share, like, subscribe and uh, I see you next month for the February reading. Okay, bye-bye.